Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. When we left off last time, we were, we'd just gone into the bathroom and we saw uh, Nathan Prescott come in and shoot a girl. Apparently he's got something going on. He's a drug dealer and she said she's going to expose him. But we were so freaked out by the shooting that we rewound time. We went back in time and we were able to, to save her by uh, pulling the fire alarm. So everybody's outside now before he got a chance to shoot her. So we're trying to figure out, Max here, just what's going on, why we have this power. Uh, in the meantime, our friend Warren wants to meet up with us, but we're going to check out the campus first. How's it going, Brooke? Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? No, it's okay. Mm, I don't want to hit I love you, because it's love to, because it sounds like she doesn't really want me to. But I don't want to call her out in the legality of it, either. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy <laughs> sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Wow, that's awfully hostile. Well... Let's go back just a little bit and talk to her again. Um, where are we at here? Did I not go back far enough? Okay, I think I didn't go back far enough. There. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? No, that's all right. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Hmm, so she's gonna be a little unpleasant no matter how we do it. Okay. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy though. You can search your bag? That doesn't seem like a good idea. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. How's it going, guys? There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. <laughs> there she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. All right, we'll ask him about this Vortex Club. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Mm. I mean, I suppose we shouldn't really judge it when we don't know what it's all about. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy, like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Hmm. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Wow, he's 
really, really calm and casual about a missing girl. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Huh. Well, he doesn't... I mean, he doesn't sound like the most competent person. He's not being very serious about serious events going on, but he doesn't seem like a mean guy. What's this? Do the Bigfoot stuff. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> Let's see, then over here we have the best slice in Arcadia Bay. Mm, pizza. And what is this? Old Port Slugs, Dylan Panthers, and the Sunnydale Razorbacks. Okay, let's see what else we can find out here. Looks like we've got some shark graffiti over on the wall here. Let's check that out. Ooh, this is the smoking area, huh? Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ooh, gross. At least switch to E6. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. <laughs> Cause otters are cute. Otter power? I'm so not there. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. And this is where the otters oh. perform their aquatic magic. And it looks like we are not getting in there right now. That's fine. What do we got over here? Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I would imagine her family's probably pretty desperate to find her. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Bible study. Looking to join fellow Christians to read and discuss. Thanks and God bless. Bully much? No bully thinks they're a bully, so think about that before you bully. If you think you've become a bully, please go to <laughs> bully for you or we'll stand up for you. Too much information. Be here now. Multitasking keeps you busy, but not alive. Social media is no replacement for reality. Come visit the Buddhist Center. Okay, now wait, I think our friend said he's going to meet us in the parking lot, but we need to go to our dorm first. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. All right, so we'll go to the parking lot after we go to the dorm then. So bizarre to be back here after five years. Where were you? I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. High school is not supposed to be the best years of your life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. I'm not knocking her for saying that. When you're young, when you're in high school, it might feel that way, but trust me, guys, it's not. It's not terrible, necessarily, but there's way more years in your life. Any year should always be the best year of your life. It's not like life peaks and then it's never as good from there on out. There's always something to find, something to do, experiences to be had. What is this dinosaur? I could go for a burger now. 
Okay, so the two whales diner. That sounds pretty fantastic. On a quest for magic and adventure, roll the 20-sided dice. Join Blackwell Science Gamers Group. Oh, every Wednesday at 3.15. Weekly games to be announced. Please have knowledge of basic gaming rules and etiquette. Cosplay and women welcome. <laughs> I've never tried cosplay, but I have done my share of games. I know about 20-sided dice. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. Must be nice What's to him. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. That's fine. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Yeah. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Uh, she had a good heart. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way! You're a good substitute muse. <laughs> Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. He seems like a nice guy. Best portrait ever. Yeah. Well, cool. Look for it on Facebook. Get yourself a copy of that. This action will have consequences, really? All right. Well, I guess we will go forward and see what it is, eventually. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. <laughs> What's going on with you, Evan? Tucked away by yourself in the corner. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Let's try talking to him. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Really? You have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Don't know. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Guess what? We're gonna try that again. I think I need to go back a little bit more. There. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Matt. Let's do. Okay. Let's try Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? Sure. It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Let's take a look. Rachel again, huh? Interesting. Okay, it doesn't really look like there's much we can do with this. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Hmm. Anything else? Sorry. I have to get back to my portfolio. Alright. 
but before we head to the dormitories, let's angle over here. Luke. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Hmm. Do we start the rumor? Well, it's true, and everyone should know that he's unbalanced, and we saw that, that he has it within him to murder a girl, so, yeah. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today, and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Now, it's possibly dangerous letting him know that, because if the rumor gets around, and if anything doesn't come of Nathan Prescott talking to the principal, he might come after us. We've seen that he's unstable. But I kind of feel like if we let the rumor get around that he's a crazy guy, waving a gun around and dangerous, maybe we can save someone else's life just by them knowing that and being more cautious around him. All right, anything I'm else? I'm glad left? you told me that, Max. Let's talk later. Cool? Ooh, Vortex Club sucks. Clever. All right, I think we have talked to everybody out here. So let's head to the dorm. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Oh, there's our janitor. Some kind of repairs going yeah. on over here, eh? Well, I'm really hoping, and it's feeling like I maybe... I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. We'll get to solve the mystery of what happened to our missing gal. So I'm pretty excited the about Prescott that. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Oh. Yep. Okay, no getting in here. And I don't want to go right into the dorm anyhow. Okay. We want to make sure to explore. Okay, we can't go up this hill. Is this... Who is this? Logan. Hey, Logan Robertson. All-American asshole. Well, why not talk to him? No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Was he calling me, bro? No, bro. Okay, weirdo. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday. Who's this game. gal? We got her name before, Alyssa. That's who she is. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Well, let's talk to her and try it out. Oh. Hi, Max. Just. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. No. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, that's it. Sorry, I really have to find out what happens. All right, we're gonna go back and ask her what she's reading, and maybe that. Whoops. We'll oh. get her to open up a bit. Huh. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? No. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right. Now this is a point because this is something I used to do. This was particularly a technique I would use in college. Like I didn't want to talk to people because I was yeah. kind of shy and just not that excited about talking to people. So I would intentionally between classes sit somewhere on campus and read a book and people all the time, even though you're trying to look like engrossed in your book, still come up and talk to you. Oh, what are you reading? Is that a good book? What's that about? And it's like, I'm trying to be antisocial, leave me alone. So I can totally feel, feel for Alyssa here. She just wants to read her book. She doesn't want to be bothered with conversation right now. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Oh, this will be a fun conversation. Oh shit, there's Victoria and her mean girls. How's it going, ladies? Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Really? Selfie hoe? What a lame gimmick. 
Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Am I supposed to care that you call him a nice person? The Dagarian processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> She's this upset that I knew an answer? Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Tromp over oh, him. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Hmm. Yeah, I bet there's something we can do with this. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Yeah, we'll figure it out. First, let's talk to everybody else, but... Yeah, we'll just flutter with some water. That'll work. Oh, I wonder if this guy would help us. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. I can't talk to him? All right. Awesome. Okay, who have we got here? Just some guy. Can we talk to... Nice oh, yeah, Kate. Throw. We can't talk to her? I want to talk to her. Obviously, something's bothering her. I'd like to try to help her feel a little better. Cheer her up. Nice. Something's going to happen over there. Oh, this is a pop can. This girl's looking at. Oh, oh, I went kind of fast. It looked almost for a second. Sweet. Oh, there's just graffiti on the tree. Make art, not war. Oh, the water pump. I'm kind of nervous, though. If we mess around with it, is it going to screw up him on the ladder? I don't want to make him fall. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Okay. How do we use it? This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. What just happened? Okay. Oh, we need to find something to use the valve? Okay. What do we have? None of these tools will do it? Do we need to go even further back? Okay, I guess we're gonna tamper with this. Oh, we're gonna try to dump paint on him? Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice, bro. We'll just watch from right here, see what happens. We might need to head back to that sprinkler valve, but we'll give this a try first. Nice, bro. Just... So it's not going to fall on them, because he's only hooking it right here. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right yeah. under the bucket. Okay. The awesome. Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. All right. Back again. So, tamper with this. Okay, let's see if this works. Then, head over here and mess around with this valve. So this will get him off the steps. What the hell? Are you kidding? There we go. Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Nice, yeah, bro. water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? It's about you to get a lot worse. Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Awesome. 
All right. This should do it. No way! No fucking you okay, way! okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Don't be mean to him. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Okay, so can we just wander right past and get in? How's it going, Victoria? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? We'll be nice. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Ah, see? A little kindness goes a long way. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? All I right. know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Okay. Au revoir. Welcome to Sluts R Us. Jeez. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. No, you shouldn't. Better get to my room before I find Warren. The thing about people in high schools, the way you act in high schools, lots of people act insecure and they're cruel to each other. Pointless cruelties that you don't really need. You're, you're trying to figure out who you yeah. are. And years later, after this, sometimes you'll look back and you'll feel kind of bad about some of the dumb, mean things you did when you were young. I don't think anyone should really be held accountable for things that they do when they're a young teenager. You change so much after that. So, yeah, Victoria's being really nasty to us now, but we don't know what's going on in her life. We don't know what her home life is like. She could have reasons for this. And like we just saw, when we were a little friendly to her, instead of making fun of her, she seemed to respond. I don't think she just necessarily played us now. I think this is the first step towards maybe things being all right between the two of us. I mean, ultimately, this choice has consequences, so we'll see. But I'm feeling confident about that choice right now. And I'm also going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. So please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll head into the dormitory. We'll get our flash drive back for Warren. And then um, hopefully we'll manage to meet up with him. Since we still haven't seen him yet, I want to see what he's all about.